This talk is about long-term support and squeeze. Um, a bit brief, I guess. I will not really introduce me. I've used Debian since many years. Most I run stable all the time. Um, how many of you use old stable at the moment? Wow. Um, how many of you have used old stable in the past? I guess everybody. And who's still running Lenny system somewhere? Edge. <laughs> You're still running Edge. Sarge, anyone? Um, how many of how many of you use Squeeze LTS? Everybody who's using Squeeze, I guess. Um, how many of you plan already plan to use Wheezy LTS? Because it's a nice idea, but currently it's just a plan. <laughs> um, how many of you have uploaded packages to Squeeze LTS? Wow. Um, who is planning to upload packages? <laughs> so LTS means long-term support. It, um, extending the lifetime of Squeeze to by five by two years to five. It's hosted on F, on the FTP archive, like all the other suits, and it's currently two architectures only: i386 and AMD64. Using LTS is pretty simple. You just add this to the sources list and be done. It's it. and suppo <coughs> supposed um, till May 2016, this should, shall give new packages. Um, formerly, it's organized by Frisian, or the, the paid part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Can you just go back one slide? Um, Add a new line, squeeze LTS. How does that um, relate to security? Um, do we have that work? Do we keep both of them? Do we remove security? Why do we still have security if we're going to have squeeze LTS? For historic reasons, <laughs> it's you you keep squeeze in this in the sources list. You keep the security archive there, but there will be no more security archive there. So you can also remove them. I'm not sure whether there are still packages in there or whether. <coughs> And maybe the question should be, um, are the packages that are going to go into the security archive during the squeeze cycle also going into the squeeze LTS archive? No, there are no packages going in security anymore. And the LTS packages stay in LTS. Um, Frisian is the company of Raphael Herzog. Um, and yes, this, this page explains LTS quite well. Um, this is <coughs> it's also very suitable, this page, to show to potential um, sponsors. Um, and the aim is to get 160 um, hours per month funded. Um, so far, there is funding for 36 hours, I think. This is also on this web page. There, are this bar um, is the aim, and this is updated manually um, because the idea is to find um, paid, um, paid, paid developers to, to do the security updates. The microphone for Gunnar, please. Matter the microphone. Just as uh, I mean, not, uh, I'm not saying that for myself by far, but uh, I mean, uh, looking at the hourly rates and that you're looking to be able to hire people. Uh, well, it would be nice if you considered hiring, uh, looking for people in countries less less expensive than Europe. 
I mean, uh, people in my country would be happy to have that uh, salary per day instead of per hour. I, I'm aware that we discussed this also on the, on the list. Um, so far, nobody <coughs> else has, has um, replied to this request. So the only people, where is that? Is that? Um, the only people having applied are actually from Europe. Nobody else has applied. So it's, it's five people so far. And you could apply, of course. Okay, maybe not you, because you have a job, different job. Um, <clears throat> technically, we use one Git repository at Frisian, which is mostly for the bookkeeping stuff and for find work, which um, looks for packages which sponsors have indicated they need support for that, so that we prioritize work based on that. <clears throat> Besides that, we use the normal SVN repository secure testing, which is also used by the security team. Um, <clears throat> and so we also share the security tracker um, to find, to track CVEs and to track which, which is bug is fixed and which package and version. Um, the Debian security team is as, as a team not participating in LTS, though individual members like uh, Raphael Geisert or Moritz Mühlenhoff are participating in LTS. Um, there's uploads can be done by any DD, and besides that, there are no restrictions, there's no new queue, there's no proposed updates. What gets uploaded goes directly to the archive. And the only thing then, the announcement mail has to be sent manually. Um, besides that, so we did this to keep the um, barrier for entry low. <clears throat> there are some packages in Squeeze which are unsupported already. This is the list. You get that when you install the Debian security support package. There's a space missing. Um, which is currently available, I'm not sure if that is available for squeeze already, because it's not in VZ definitely. Maybe it's only in LTS. But this is the list currently. Um, so most of the packages are supported. <coughs> There's also... Um, sorry, well, uh, sorry to interrupt again. Uh, uh, I see there one package that uh, I am not directly maintaining, but uh, I could perfectly upload as I use it and I keep it updated on my systems. That's uh, Drupal 6. Is there a specific, specific reason why it's listed? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Therefore, you need to talk to the security team. I don't know why okay. Drupal is not supported. Yeah, so. But the security team doesn't support the LTS, so why would the security te team decide which things can't be supported in LTS? Good question. I think it's, it's for histor <laughs> <laughs> I think it's histor for historic reasons. Of course, if Gunnar wants to decide Drupal 6, uh, to support Drupal 6, he can do that. And then probably that would be changed, because it's not true anymore then. I'm guessing there have been things where, there have been cases where the security team has said we can no longer support this in stable, even before the end of regular stable support, and perhaps some of those fall under that. Pardon? There have, there have been cases where uh, security support has been dropped even before the end of regular uh, yeah. security support for stable, because uh, it became impossible to backport fixes. So what, is that actually the, the list of packages that the security team has dropped before LTS started? Or has there been any additions or improvements? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the security team has dropped 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 the
Um, this, this, as, you, as you see, this um, package is also really new. It's only available in Jesse and Sid. So all, also this idea of having, having a package installed which checks your system whether there's unsupported software is really new and not really fledged out well. Um, at, there are also some special packages um, which are <coughs> updated not by just applying patches but by new, getting new upstream versions. Um, PHP 5 and Tomcat 6 are in this um, boat. For, for Weezy it will also be Tomcat 7 where just the new upstream version is done. Um, IceVisa the same in Squeeze is basically unsupportable, unfixable. Um, there, if, if we want to um, support IceVisa on Squeeze still, then it would be just a new upstream version. And FMPEG would be in the same boat, but it's dropped this, um, from the security support, so that's not playing. <coughs> so the ways to contribute is once is becoming a sponsor. Um, and what you, what you get for is this, that we prioritize the packages being worked on based on the um, wishes of the sponsors and the amount of money they give. There's on this um, page the sponsors are listed um, who are actually who are contributing now. Um, and there is more direct access to us, which so far has not happened. <laughs> but LTS is only two months old or three. And um, for the highest sponsor um, class, we also uh, accept um, test cases. If that's your test case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We do work normally on the um, open mailing list on the Debian um, list server, and we have an IRC channel as well. Other ways to contributing is of course just fixing your package, or sending patches, reviewing them, or testing packages. <coughs> and Future plans, of course, VZLTS is um, an option. And but I don't. I'm not sure if this squeeze LTS is a good um, suit name. Maybe change this again. Though on the other hand, I'm also not a fan of changing suits name all the time. But I don't know. Um, would it be an option to um, reuse the existing squeeze suit instead of having everyone having an old stable add a, add a source, drop other sources to make sure the the key doesn't expire and all that? Um, basically, you take over from the from the old stable by the LTS team instead of doing a migration. I mean, for users that don't care, they would be automatically migrated to LTS, and if they do, then fine. But I think the current process of having a new source, a different repository, a different suit, while the other one isn't used anymore anyway, is a little bulky for the users. Yes, but that way you would get LTS upgrades even if you don't want them. And I'm, I, on my Squeeze systems I run a copy of, of Squeeze LTS because I don't want all updates because there is no um, restrictions on what gets into the archive, so I, I look manually at the packages. So I wouldn't be happy if um, Squeeze ATS would replace Squeeze. It's more work this way, yes. You need to touch your system once. So. <laughs> That's the end of my talk already. <laughs> so, more questions? Is there a, a work list of sort of a wish list of things that need doing for Squeeze LTS? Yes. Um, 
there is um, this find work script. Um, That, you, that uses network and the secure testing repository also. <coughs> so maybe not that slow. Live demos are always brave. The security tracker is at the moment broken in regards of LTS. Um, it simply doesn't know LTS. I've got a fixed version on my laptop, which is half working with LTS, which I hope to finish this week with Raphael, so that the security tracker will support LTS completely. And then it's, then it's easy to see um, which packages lack which CVE. While it's loading, can we, can we get back to old stable versus LTS? Can you give an example of why would you want to not pull an update from LTS on your old stable system? <coughs> For example, new, new iSpecial version. Isn't that not supported in LTS anyway? Well, it is, but it, or a new iSpecial I wouldn't mind, but... Um, Whatever thing, that's the idea of fixing PHP 5 with a new upstream version, with a minor version, so 5.3, I don't know. Um, but this has behavioral changes because some bug fixes are intrusive. So maybe your code doesn't work with the PHP version anymore. That would be an example. So in other words, LTS uh, scope is much wider than that of security org. So it's not just longer in time, it's also wider in scope. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Thanks. So uh, given the scope, distinction that uh, the LTS could include changes that are larger in scale than security updates. If I am running, let's say, a couple of servers that are running squeeze LTS, what is the recommended workflow? Because usually, at least my, my experience with, say, other distributions with LTS is I can run app get dist upgrade or the equivalent, and if anything on my system breaks, Either there's a regression or there was literally no other way to solve the security issue and I'm happier for it to have the regression. Uh, what should I be doing? Should I be setting up my own app archive like you do and importing things <coughs> as a user of the LTS? You should basically re read what, what's on the screen when you do an upgrade. <laughs> sure. Because that, that, there's the packages being upgraded and so far all upgrades have been um, good. What happens if one is not good? Well, at what the moment, it's a theoretically risk I see, because there is no um, mechanism, no gatekeeping, nothing. But so far, all uploads were good. So <laughs> it's just, what I, I just don't like it for philosophical or theoretical reasons that in theory, any DD can upload anything, and it will hit the archives. Would and of course, we, we do it um, to, to provide long-term support, so we, will not, we don't plan to break it. Right, but, but as a potential user of this, if you are telling me as a maintainer of the project, you know, I am uncomfortable with running unrestricted upgrades on the LTS, I'm saying, well, I will just stick with Ubuntu. Yeah. And I would be much more enthusiastic about switching some systems from Ubuntu to Debian if you said, yeah, I'm going to change it so not every DD can upload, or so there is review, or whatever it takes to get to the point where you don't say, oh, it's too fragile to be part of the regular stable distribution. We can't upload there because it might break something. That's not how it's done at the moment, okay. because we want, we want to have um, lower um, barrier of yeah. entry. Okay. Sure. So that, but I think we should change that. Okay. 
but this is my opinion at the moment. Uh, is there any activity on fundraising for LTS, or is that, I mean, because you said there was not that much money uh, raised at the moment, and there is um, companies are being approached um, individually, and yeah, okay. So there's not, not a, as far as I know, not a concert, concerned action. Plan. Can you say a word about how the bugs are supposed to be done? Is that the same as backports, like how we mail to a list, or is the um, that bugs um, configured to work with uh, old stable LTS then? That bugs works with old stable still. Okay. And there are no bugs? No. <laughs> Um, so I've seen uh, just monitoring the, the backports list over the last couple of months, there have been numerous packages where, um, where dependencies aren't met, where there are all sorts of problems, and I think backports desperately needs a staging area, and it seems kind of absurd to think something even more targeted at a stable um, wouldn't have some sort of staging area. And it, and it sounded like you, you were amenable to that, but I, I'm, I'm kind of, um, yeah, I don't know. I just figured I'd mention, like, well, nothing's happened yet, but there's also a lot fewer uploads than with, like, backports, which is kind of proving that model, in my opinion, doesn't work very well. I agree, yeah. Although I well, I will argue a bit to the to the other side. Backports are meant to to disrupt it in some way. They're introducing new versions. LTS is not introducing introducing new versions, just patching. So it should not should not <laughs> break it's anything. Just, it's just less likely. It's just less likely to not should not. It does version upgrades. LTS does version upgrades. Yeah. Mina version upgrades, but yeah. Like security uh, also. Security doesn't. Security, do. security does as well. There is Postgres is also another example of a package with, yeah, which gets new up. It, it avoids Not for all packages. Well, so Postgres got um, whitelisted by the security team for minor version upgrades, right? Um, and actually, we from Creative plan on um, providing further support for Postgres if possible, because it also ran out in upstream. Um, but we're working on that, just as an information. It's not really um, announced or anything, but we try to do that. But um, isn't there another, isn't, shouldn't there be a list from the security team which packages have been approved or whitelisted for minor version upgrades, and then that should be taken over to LTS? I mean, I think that would be the sensible approach. It, it sounds to me a little from this discussion that we need a clear policy on what we're doing for LTS in terms of are we trying to avoid minor version upgrades wherever possible or you know something like that. It seems like there's a bit of uncertainty about exactly what we're trying to do with LTS. Maybe we need a clearly stated policy of you know when do we do bug fixes or when do we allow minor version upgrades because there does seem to be a lack of clarity about that. The policy follows the security team policy mostly, and maybe it's good either to do it a bit more relaxed um, later, because then I don't know. But you're all invited to voice your concerns on the mailing list, because <laughs> what's been said here is will most likely to be forgotten. Your find work script is this in a public repo? No, that would be a good start, I guess.
Uh, will there be a exact date given for how long each, say, Wheezy, for instance, would be supported in advance uh, so that people can plan on how long the uh, LTS is supported? No, because the, it's not fully clear where, how long Wheezy will be supported because that is dependent on the Jesse release date. So. But, but maybe something vague like, uh, so once it comes out, then five years or something like That's that. That's the plan, roughly, yeah. Okay, And great. it's quite clear when Jesse, uh, Jesse will be released, more or less, hopefully. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's very precise. Oh, yes, I yeah. So. <coughs> so, till 2021, no, not 21. That's the Jess, how long Jesse will be supported then. Right. 2018. If there are no more questions, we can finish this.